Welcome Airport CEOs, in this tutorial we're going to cover the upgrades to the baggage system. Um, we're going to cover the tilt in the conveyor belt, we're going to cover a full scanner room including the upgrades, and we're going to show you the expansions in the actual cargo bay. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, welcome back Airport, airport CEOs. Um, thank you very much for your comments over the last couple of days. Um, it's been great as I've been going through this uh, series and tutorial. And what I'd like to bring in now is a, uh, I guess a specific request from someone who was watching uh, episode three, which was the baggage handling system. And as we know, we've actually had a lot of upgrades and patches uh, since that was first released. So Adam Brown actually asked, can we do a complex baggage system and doing the new scanning upgrades. So this tutorial is about um, building the upgraded baggage system. So to start, um, as usual, I've just got a very simple airport. So a simple airport, it's got the both types of fuel, it's got one commercial and two general aviation. And that's just so we can go through the process. And as you can see, we've got some uh, uh, passengers coming in for flights um, just but at this stage they're not using any baggage system at all so as per session three for those that have watched it um, the first thing we need to do obviously is to set up our baggage handling and that has already been done the next thing I want to do is I actually want to start um, unlocking a couple more things so we're actually going to unlock the conveyor belt tilt tray and the generic baggage scanner so both of those are going to take six hours. So uh, we'll be back in six hours. Okay, welcome back CEOs. So six hours have passed. And as you can see, if I scroll down, I now both have the conveyor belt tilt tray and the generic baggage scanner. Um, but I have two more components and now. I've got the specific baggage scanner and the baggage scanning station. So as requested, it was to actually demonstrate all the upgrades. So what we're actually going to do is now unlock these as well. And we're going to wait for them to finish so we can build them all at once. Now you don't need to build them all at once. Obviously you can build an upgrade. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to wait for the six hours to, to pass. And then we're going to build all the systems at once. So once again, I'll see you in six hours. All right, welcome back airport CEOs. The uh, Another six hours has passed, and when we scroll down, we now find we have the five systems unlocked. So the basic baggage handling system, the conveyor belt tilt tray, the generic baggage scanner, the Pacific baggage scanner, and the baggage scanning station. So therefore, when we open up our items and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see the baggage belts. You can see the baggage scanner, the specific baggage scanner and the scanning station. You can also see the conveyor bay cargo destroyer and obviously the baggage bay that was there before. So now let's put it all together. And we're gonna use all the features as part of the fully up. First of all, we'll open up the items and we've got our actual baggage bay. Um, we can see from the baggage bay that we can actually make it a lot smaller than we made it bef before. So the first thing we're actually going to do is just make a little 6x5 room. So... five by 6 There we go. And just to keep it even, I'm going to build exactly the same on this side. Another little 5x6. And that's just going to keep it nice and even. Um, just need to drop a couple of doors in there. So we're just going to put a medium sized door here. And another little medium sized door in the middle here. And that will just uh, help the workers get out. Uh, and help obviously the, uh, the workers get in as well. So we'll build that. Wait for, we'll wait for both of these rooms to be built and then we'll come straight back. 
Okay, so both rooms have been built, and now let's uh, start dropping some of the features in there. So we'll go to items, and the first thing we're going to do is drop in the actual baggage bay, the same as we did in the previous tutorial. Um, but we're just going to sit it in the in the middle, and we'll show you why in in a in a second. So we'll drop that there. Now that that's lined up, I just want to destroy a couple of walls. I'm going to destroy a wall at the back so we can enter. Another one at the back, and destroy this wall here between the two rooms. Now let's build the conveyor belt. So we'll go to the baggage belts and you can see we've got three options. We've got the overground, underground, but we've also got the tilt tray now. So we won't use the tilt tray in this case, but we will use it at the end because I want to use all the features as part of the upgrade. So we'll go to the overground belt. Another great thing with the, the upgrades, you can see now when you're looking at the arrow scrolling in, you can actually see the arrows moving uh, very quickly. So we want, in this case here, um, we want the arrows to be pointing up. And we're going to move that up until we get to about here. Whilst we're actually here, I'm actually going to now just uh, place a hole in the wall. once again and make this as simple as I can without creating more work for myself. So let's go back to that baggage belt, overground belt, turn that around so it's facing the right way. Make sure that he comes and knocks down the wall so I can actually build it through the wall. They don't seem to be in a rush to uh, knock down my wall there. There we go. Now Let's build that uh, conveyor belt, overground conveyor belt. So, turn that around. We're going to build that in till we get inside the room. Now it's a case of actually placing down your scanners. So, when you zoom in, you can see once again, you can just see the in arrows and the out arrows. So, that would be placed like so. Then we'll grab the next item, the baggage scanner, which is obviously, as you said, doing organics, explosives, money, guns, and drugs. And just rotate it again. And we'll place this in the middle of the room. And then we'll grab the last one, which is the, the scanning station and we'll place it here. And, and note the scanning station actually requires a security staff member. The other two stations do not require a security staff member. And now we're gonna link those up. So we just grab the overground belt again and link those up. So make sure your arrows are facing the right way. And link that up, link that up, and bring that one down to the end. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to build the um, the baggage destroyer. So the concept I have is I'm going to do that. Bring this into the middle. Downwards. Downwards. And then down till we get to the destroyer. So now we'll actually have the baggage destroyer. and we've got that component there. So we'll let them actually be built and we'll continue on with our baggage belt. So still with our overground baggage belt, we're coming down now, turning the arrows. just don't want to do sharp turns. Sometimes it uh, just doesn't work as intended. Um, but actually with the upgrades, it is definitely working a lot better. So very happy with the upgrades um, whilst uh, we're building that. So okay, so now we've done that, let's, um, let's build the uh, conveyor belt. Or uh, So in this case here, we still want to do some overground. So just probably two. 
Then we're actually going to switch it to underground. And we're going to bring the underground all the way over to here. All right, and this is where we're going to now make our uh, luggage collection area. But what I want to do is I also want to demonstrate the tilt. So from the underground, we're going to ex get the overground, and I'm just going to do three overground. From three overground, I'm now going to swap it and build a tilt. And what tilt does, and I'll demonstrate it when it goes through, it allows you to split where the where the um, the luggage is going. So in this case here with the tilt, I'm going to go one suitcase to the left, one suitcase to the right, and we'll demonstrate that once we've finished and actually set it up. Um, so let's build our uh, conveyor belt. We're going up. Okay, and then we'll match that on this side. It's not going to be perfectly matched. I can see people cringing that it's not uh, going to be symmetrical. But for demonstration purposes, it achieves what we want to do. So we'll just tidy these up. We'll bring that one in there. And this one down to here. And there we go. So we now have the conveyor belts. I can see two bits that we've missed. So we just need to make sure that we've now connected these. And we've built so just to confirm we've now got and I'll just turn the conveyor belts on we've got the luggage coming in from the check-ins going through to the bag scanner anything that's false will come out and I see here we've actually potentially got an error um, so what we're actually going to do is just delete this mark that for delete because I actually want that arrow to go down then if it meets through here it goes to the specific baggage scanner and then it goes to the the final scanner which is the well, let's just have a look at the name it's the scanning station if it all passes if it fails it then goes to the destroyer if it all passes then it goes to the actual conveyor belt itself so just while that's been destroyed, I'm just going to finish off the, the rest. So the next thing we want to do is make sure that we've got the, um, the roads uh, done. So we can extend the service road now. And we want to build the service road also into the back as well. And this is makes it very easy. A lot lot easier since it's had the upgrade the last thing we want to do or not the last thing we then want to actually employ our staff so remembering that you've got the baggage uh, the scanning desk so you can need one more security there so let's just order that security and whoops applicants hire and then for the ramp agents I want to do four per side now and we're still one short so let me explain something once we set this up as well so it's the same thing once you've set everything up you now need to connect everything so the same as we did in version 3 so let's start off and let's build the area um, so the area being the baggage claim so that's to find the area and now let's link everything up so we want to connect the baggage check we want to connect the ramp
check. Okay, so now let's connect the baggages. You need to do it, so connect. Connect. And let's turn and activate the baggage queue. Okay, we have now connected all the, a um, little bit hard to see with that one, with the, the way that it pops up, but we've connected the, the baggage claim to the cargo bay, we've connected the stand to the cargo bay, and we've connected each of the desks, exactly the same as version 3, it's just a lot tidier, so we've got a simple system going in, coming through the scanner, the second scanner, and then the scanner room, going into a destruction bay. Now I just deleted this before so let me actually just uh, put that back and hopefully we can get this one working. And what I wanted to do was actually build a downward. And let's see if we can get that one working. Okay let's go, we've got our first lot of luggage coming in. For the next one, let's see if it works as intended. So there you go, we've got a few that are failing the first scanner, going straight into that destructor. We haven't any, had any fail the second yet, or have anyone failed the security scan. All right, those that are passing are now making their way to the, the baggage cargo bay, of which then the trucks will actually come and uh, collect it, as they did before. Now the other thing I just want to finish off with is the actual cargo bay itself. So um, it automatically defaults as two agents per side. As you build your stands, obviously it costs more money, you can simply increase the amount of agents per side. So don't uh, forget about that place it in there and then that way you can get all the agents you actually need. I think it goes up to a maximum of eight per side um, to make sure you cater for all those scans. So I'm just going to bring it down to four. I've been comfortable with four. Okay, so now that we've got it all set up, the last thing we want to do, we talked about the tilt here. So if we click, right click on the tilt, we've got two destination forward and left, forward and right, and left and right. So what we're going to do is we're going to click left and right, and what this will do is it will take the bags, and we can see the bags now, and it will actually split the bag one left, one right. So we'll slow that down, but you can see it, it's going one left, one right, one left, one right, and that allows you to use both baggage carousels. So final recap, we got our baggage with a tilt, two carousels. We have our cargo bay that has four agents per side. We've taken all the upgrades. So we have the bag scanner. The bag scanner number two, if we want to call it that, and the actual scan station. Remembering the scan station needs an extra security person. And I've got one baggage um, bag destroyer. Um, at this stage, I haven't pushed it to the limit. So I don't know if one bag destroyer is enough for three scanners, keeping in mind that it should thin out. But you know what? You can easily delete and destroy the ramps and actually just put in two more baggage destroyers if it starts to actually back up. So easily fixed. And the last thing we've done is obviously link the, uh, the stand to the actual cargo bay itself. Now for ratios, at the moment I'm using the same ratio I did in my episode three, which is four baggage carts for three stands. Um, I do get some errors of delay, but generally I can cope with four baggage carts for three stands. Keeping in mind that a baggage cart, you need two baggage carts for each stands, inbound and outbound. So the four is sort of having a ratio that's uh, keeping with that. So overall, I hopefully, hopefully that's answered your question. Hopefully that's given you an update. Um, thank you very much. 
Thank you very much for the uh, for the comments. They've been really appreciated, and it's helped me actually design the next lot of tutorials. Um, if you've enjoyed the, the series, please hit the subscribe. I'm now going to make a series on a couple of other similar type of uh, games. And if you do, if it is uh, beneficial and you do, don't forget to hit that like. It really uh, helps me along. So all the best. Have a great time out there, airport CEOs, and good luck with your airport.